Today's true story from the Bible comes from Judges chapter 4. God's people settled into the promised land, but they quickly forgot all that God had done for them. They turned away from Him and chose to worship false gods. When this happened, God allowed them to be taken over by an enemy. The people cried to God for help. He then raised up a leader called the judge to deliver them from the enemy. They would live at peace until they turned from God again. This pattern happened over and over. God raised up a woman named Deborah to be the judge over Israel. Deborah summoned a man named Barak and said, God has commanded you to gather 10,000 men. He'll draw the enemy general out and deliver him over to you. Barak responded that he would go, but only if Deborah came too. Yes. Deborah agreed, but told him that the Lord would use a woman to take down the enemy. Barak and Deborah led their army of 10,000 men. Sisera, the enemy general, heard they were coming and prepared his army, including 900 iron chariots. Deborah told Barak, get ready. This is the day God is going to hand the enemy over to you. The Lord is going before you. When Barak attacked, God caused Sisera's army to panic. The Israelites destroyed the whole army, but Sisera jumped from his chariot and escaped on foot. He ran to the tent of a woman named Jael, thinking that this family was peaceful with his people. Sisera hid and fell asleep. While he slept, Jael snuck over to him and killed him. God had indeed used a woman to defeat the enemy. Deborah and Barak sang a great song, praising God for his victory. They sang, to the Lord I will sing. I will make melody to the Lord, the God of Israel. God was victorious in the battle and the Israelites were free, but their freedom didn't last. Soon they turned back to their evil ways and were oppressed by another enemy. The Israelites had a much bigger problem than the enemy kings. In fact, we all have the same problem. We all sin and rebel against God. The good news is that God is victorious over our sin as well. We can't do anything to make our sin better, but Jesus died on the cross to take the punishment for our sin. He rose from the dead, defeating death and sin forever.